Now we are going to discuss about the fluvial desertic landform. That is in desert areas that you know there is a the surface drainage pattern is very less due to its low rainfall and uh, high evaporation. However, whenever the rainfall is occurred due to the activity of the rainfall, there are some specialist landform, typical landform developed in the desertic areas which is known as the fluvio de desertic landform which is occurred due to both the fluvial and the desertic activity. So there are very little surface drainage in the desert areas. Because of the low rainfall and the high rate of evaporation which is caused the low air humidity and the high atmospheric temperature. The most important landform which is caused which is formed due to the fluvial action in the desert areas is known as the bad land. Playa, Bolson, Bazada, and Pediment. So these are the most important features which are found in the desertic areas due to the fluvial activity. So we will discuss one by one. First is the badland. The badland is the name which is originally applied to an area of the semi arid region of South Dakota in USA. Because it is very difficult to cross it. It is characterized by the deep dissection of ravines, gullies, rails, etc. And these features are created by the prepared erosion of the weak sedimentary rocks, having the low resistance and form the different forms of ravines and gullies. Thus the topography of the area become extremely rugged and very difficult to cross it. So this is known as the bad land. Now Playa. Playa is also known as the alkali flat, which is alkaline in nature or also known as the safka. This is a desert basin with no outlet which is periodically filled with water and they form a temporary lake. lake. Next balsam. It is a flat floor deserted valley. that drains to ply. For example,
So this is known as Bolson. This is Playa. This is the Bazaar. This is Pediment. So, Bazda, the, this is the depositional features, which is also known as Bahada. It is a spin stone that is formed due to the wall sense of the civil alluvial fan, which is formed due to wall sense of the Civil alluvial fan. And these are formed due to the pediments and intermediate areas of the pediments and fly. So the characteristics of Pazda that we can see it is a fancy depositional features which is observed between the pediments and fly. And it is co composed of the unconsolidated material such as sands, gravels, with a concave upward slope. And this slope is varies from 0 degree to 10 degree. And this deposition is mainly occur during and immediate after the rainfall. After the torrential rainfall. This is the main characteristics of the Bazaar. Now come the latest important features which is formed due to the fluvial activity in the desertic areas which is known as the pediments. Pediments situated between the mountain front and Vasala and the term first proposed by G. K. Gilbert in 1870 in 1880. And according to Gilbert, he has represented this landform for the surface of alluvial fen near the lake of Uta. However, according to McGee in 1897, to describe the rocky plains downslope from the mountain fort in Arizona. Describe this lab pediment. So, pediments are mainly characterized by concave upward slope, having 1 degree to 7 degree. The slope of the pediment is varies from. These are found mainly in the semi arid region. And the pediments extend from the desert foot to mountain front and gently sloping. So there are several theories have been developed regarding the origin of the pediments. That some of the geomorphologists suggest that uh, arise the question that what are the process or processes are responsible for the pediment formation? And some of the geomorphologists suggest that what is the explanation of the sharp break between the mountain front and the adjacent pediment. To provide a question of this answer, the geomorphologists give an explanation 
different geomorphologies to give an explanation about the origin of the pediments. First is the seed plant theory. This theory is propounded by McGee in 1897. According to Gee, the pediments are formed due to the erosion of the weather bedrock by the seed flood originating from the occasional torrential rainfall. Recessional theory, which is provided by Lawson. In 1915. According to Lawson, the pediments are developed because of the gradual recession of the mountain front caused by the weathering and erosion. Next, lateral plantation theory. It is propounded by Gilbert. In 1912, according to Gilbert, the pediments are formed due to the lateral erosion by the stream, and he suggested that there are three zones that along the mountains and encircling the intermountain basins, which is known as There are three important zones. One is known as the inner zone, that is represents the mountain front, where the down cutting is occurred by the streams. Next, the outer zone, which is extends up to the margins of the intermediate patients, where the deposition is occurred and mostly important, and this zone is known as the zone of aggradation, whereas this zone is known as zone of degradation. zone of aggradation and the intermediate zone which is known as the pediment zone. The most important activity is occurred and the zone of pedimentation where the pediment is developed in this zone. Thank you for watching this video.